Sometimes you have to buy the wrong thing in order to find the right thing, and that is exactly what happened to me. Hi there, Michelle here, and welcome back to my channel. And today's video is yet another vlog. Wasn't too sure if I was gonna do. Okay, it's 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 blinding. It's blinding. Okay, I'll put my sunglasses on. I really wasn't too sure if I'm gonna even make this video. It's Thursday, and the last three days I have just been crocheting, which there will be a video upon it eventually. And then I went to work for three days in a row, and now I'm exhausted. So there's some errands that I have to run today. So I'm like, you know what? I might as well like vlog it. You know, see if anything interesting happens. My birthday is next week, which means I have to. To, well, in Ontario, every five years, you have to renew your driver's license and health card. So I got to do that today. And that means I have to take a photo. And of all times, I have to take a photo when I'm like, um, how do I put this? Testing out new hairstyles. So I recently had just watched Reality Bites for the first time. I know, I know. I should have watched it by now. It has been on a rider in it, but here's the thing. I went through an 80s phase where I watched all the 80 teen and young person type of movies. But the 90s were just a little too like sad for me. They're just too grungy. I don't know. I, I, I like comedic movies, but because she had the hairstyle, I had to watch it. And so now I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do with my hair now. The whole reason I got the haircut is because of the photos. And I realized that the photos came from that movie. And now I'm trying to do my side part again. I've always liked my side part, but I was like, you know, doing the front bangs and then the side bangs. And I'm just going to go back to 2007 Michelle and do my side bang. Anywho, I got to get all that done. So that means I have to get a new photo and I really hope my hair cooperates. My last photos didn't really turn out great. Where it is there's a little thrift store so i think i might go check that place out because i do need some new buttons i have this really nice coat i wore it a lot last year it's like that um what is that not tweed not tweed not herringbone don't remember what it is it's a vintage coat like it's from like the 40s or the 50s or something and the buttons uh the way they're made and what they're made out of are like falling apart and just falling off that one thrift store does have a lot of cute buttons a lot of vintage buttons so i'm gonna go check that place out today and then it's in a winner's bag but in my last thrift haul i said i had to return something so i'm gonna go to value village and try to return the skirt that's what i'm up to today and then we'll see what the rest of the week uh what i do for the rest of the week so after getting my driver's license and health card renewed i went over to the small little thrift store i have found really cute coats here in the past they actually had a lot in the store today but there just wasn't anything that was like you know my vibe I saw this photo, um, someone's huge signature was on it. It was kind of neat. I think it was only like two, three dollars, but it looked like it's been sitting in the sun for years. So it just kind of turned that blue green kind of color. And then like I told you, this place has so many buttons. Like there were so many cool buttons, but I was, I was here for a certain type of button like these buttons here. These are the buttons that I'm kind of looking at. So that way I can replace the old ones on my coat with. Then they had some crochet hooks, but unfortunately they were Susan Bates and I don't play with Susan Bates. And then I checked out some of their patterns. There was a lot of like 90s patterns in here, but also a lot of like children clothes, which, you know, I don't, I don't need to buy those ones. And then a lot of like home, home decor stuff, like not decor, but like, you know, home things like bedding, pillow shams, curtains, that kind of stuff. And then those two books there, I feel like someone was a student and had donated them when they didn't need it anymore. Then I saw this painting here, which looks like one of those paintings that's on like velvet or something. It was cool, but it was just too big for what I needed. Then I headed over to Value Village and I wanted to check out the sheets, to see if there was anything cool. You know, I'm not too sure what this is. It was kind of like a blanket, but it was also kind of like a sheet, but then it was also a duvet cover. I'm not too sure exactly what it was. I really love the print of this and the price wasn't bad. It's just, it was really worn in the middle. So I did leave it. I saw this sheet here, which also was really cute. But again, I'm just not the biggest fan of the color blue. I just don't think it suits me personally. I like to stay with more of the warm colors. And then I actually saw this sheet set here. It is strawberry shortcake. And I thought it was so cute. Like, here's the thing. I thought it was adorable. There was two sheets and then there was one pillowcase. First, I think if it was a little cheaper, I might have bought it, but I just didn't want to spend like $12, $15 on this for something that I'm not too sure what I actually want to do with it. Also, again, these are twin children sheets and I try to avoid twin sheets. I did have to pass. These were in the Valley Village in Welland. So if you want them, that's where, that's where they were if they're still there. And then I checked out their fabric section.
Then I checked out the jackets and of course I got drawn to this one. It's Northern Reflections, but it was $20. I don't understand. I don't understand how it was $20. Okay, if it was like seven, probably would have bought it, but I don't understand how that jacket was $20. Then I decided to check out the skirts because I was returning a skirt and I'm like, well, if I'm returning one, maybe I'll find another one. This yellow skirt is giving clueless vibes. Of course, I spot the Northern Reflection. I just, I can spot a Northern Reflection top across the room at this point. So I went in there to return one thing. It's not like a normal store where you can return it, they give you money back or they give you a gift card and then you go shopping and then you come back. It's you go shopping and then you come back and then you return the item and then that amount of money is just taken off like what you're buying. The thing was $8 and I'm like, you know what? If I find something for like eight, $10, great. Tell me why I bought a bag full of stuff that is worth more than $8. So now it's it's become a thrift haul, apparently. I will show you the stuff when, when I get home and then whatnot. Who knows, I might even do more thrifting tomorrow. Apparently I have really good luck now. That being said, I think I'm like shopped out. I was thinking about going to one more thrift store, but like I bought $30 worth of things. I think I'm just gonna go home, relax for like a little bit, and then I'm going to start working on that crochet project, which I will show you. I'm pretty sure that video is gonna come out after this one. Try and get a bunch of crocheting done today, so. Yeah. Okay, so as soon as I got home, my sister also had the day off and we're just like, uh, do you want to go to Michael's and get some yarn? We ended up getting, uh, we ended up going to Michael's and getting some yarn. Well, Halloween is officially over and Christmas is everywhere. It's everywhere. Here's the thing. I'm hit and miss with Christmas. I like retro kitschy Christmas, like pink trees, silver aluminum trees that I like. Also these dinosaur ornaments are actually pretty cool. I am working on another project, which I will need yarn. And I know I keep saying, I don't, I don't really use blue. Well, the project that I need to do requires me to get some nice, cool colors. Then I just want to check out the hook and needles. I'm just a sucker for really cute colors, okay? And I love aluminum needles and hooks, so that's why, you know, I kind of wanted to look at these. And now they sell tufting guns at Michael's so you can make your own rugs. I've wanted to make my own rug ever since I saw the TikToks in 2020. And now they have all the supplies. They have the gun, they have the glue, they have the thing to spread the glue, they have the canvas, they have the thing you put in the canvas, they have all of it, and I want all of it. So it is Friday. For some reason, I keep thinking it's Saturday. It's not Saturday, it's Friday. And it is, it's pouring outside. Not like I was gonna go anywhere today. I, there was like a few errands that I kind of wanted to do today, but like, I don't want to get out of the car again. I'm just to go back in my house. I think today what's gonna happen is I have a few sewing projects that I need to fix. Not, not sewing projects, just projects that are in a sewing pile that need to get fixed before I can wear them. So I'm not really sewing anything new. It's just, there's a few things that I need to cut and re-sew and just, and just fix. So I think that's what today is gonna be. Today is just gonna be a nice like stay inside, which I mean like I stay inside every day, so I don't know what I'm talking about. And I am going to work on those like thrift flips, I guess. I don't know, they were thrifted and then I just never fixed them and I gotta kind of fix them. So I'm gonna do that today and then I'm just gonna get a bunch of crocheting done. Rainy fall days are my favorite just to like stay inside and uh, do nothing. Also, you might be like, well, you're outside right now, Michelle. Why aren't you inside? Because I need my ice cap for the day. I cannot not have an ice cap. So I'm getting my ice cap and maybe a cookie and treating myself to a cookie today. And then I'll go home and do everything I need to do. Back at home, I've kind of gotten into like a another comfy sweater, even though I was wearing a comfy sweater earlier. It is so dark in my room that if I did not have this bright light, it would look like this is what it would look like if I didn't have this ring light. <laughs> and we're back. Okay, so the projects that I want to get done aren't like full blown sewing projects. It's more like I need these things fixed in order to wear them. And these are the only things that I can think of right now. First off, I do need to fix two things for my sister. She actually thrifted this really cute skirt the other day when we were thrifting and there is a little hole here. So the perks of being my sister is that if you find something that you need like men 
ending, I'm gonna do it for you. The other thing I wanna fix today is this sweater here, which I did thrift a few weeks back, and I haven't been able to put it through the wash yet, so it still has like that Goodwill perfume smell to it, because this little guy down here, I don't wanna touch it too much, but the face is like ripped in half, and it's kind of peeling away, so what I wanna do is I wanna get some uh, glue, which is somewhere amongst my clutter of things, and glue that face down before I put it in the wash. And the last thing I wanna actually fix today is something that I bought uh, pre-panorama, and I never really got to it, mainly because I bought it for the fabric. I had thrifted this bed sheet. It still has the, the price tag on it. It was $5, and what's really neat about this is one, I bought it because I love how vintage this fabric looks, but hear me out, whoever, had made this. This is, again, homemade. You can you can tell because of the stitches, but it's a duvet cover. It's a duvet cover. And I was like, I'm gonna use it for something. And un unfortunately, because I bought this pre-panorama and I needed fabric during the whole panini going on, I cut into it. Why would I have even used this much fabric? That's too much fabric. I thought it was a little square. Desperate times calls for desperate measures and I really shouldn't have done it. At the time, my thinking was like, I'm gonna make a dress out of this. A little bit of fabric at the bottom is no big deal. But now looking at this, I'm like, I want this to be my duvet cover for my actual bedding. So I think what I might do is I might find a scrap piece of fabric, which I mean, if you had watched my one video, I'd be going through all my fabric. I got a lot of it. And I think I'm going to just cut rectangle piece and sew it back onto here. And this is the bottom of the bed sheet. I can always just have it facing downwards. It's been sitting forever. I would love to have made a dress out of this. I'm at that point where it's like, yes, this would be a lovely dress, but how many times am I going to wear it compared to if this is my bedding, I get to see it every single day. And then the other thing I have to work on today is making this fall like sweater, but that's a different video. Okay. So this is the glue that I ended up finding. I wanted to find like the E6000 glue, couldn't find it. So I used this Gorilla Glue. Unfortunately, when I was filming myself gluing it back together, my head was covering the shot. So you didn't even see me glue it, but it did the job and I did wash it and it stayed somewhat together. I don't have obviously fabric to match this and I don't have any yellows, orange, or this kind of brown as just like plain colors. And sure, I could go to the fabric store and buy what I need, but you know what? I don't really care. So I was originally kind of thinking to go with this one, but unfortunately I have no idea why, but I cut it into two pieces that used to be one piece and I cut it into two. So it's not gonna be long enough to stretch from here all the way down here. So instead I am just going to use this material. It's vintage, it's flowery, sure it's different colors, scheme but it's soft it is actually a bed sheet so i think that this will be fine with here and hey one day if i come across this fabric which is highly unlikely if i come across something that matches these colors then i can unattach this and resew it and like resew the new fabric and i'll have a template so i think that this is just going to be used for right now right, so i cut the piece i did cut it a little bit bigger than it needed to be so i am going to now just pin it and then uh, sew it up and then cut out any of the extra fabric that I don't need. All right, so I sewed it up. This is how it looks. I know they're mismatching, but have you seen like my room? I think it fits. I think it's fine. This will be the bottom side of the duvet cover. So I don't really think it matters if it is seen or not seen. Okay, so it is now all done. I put my blanket in. I think it suits the rest of my room. If you remember this blanket here that I absolutely love, I feel like, you know, they go together. This is what it looks like at the bottom. And then that's what it looks like on the other side. You don't even see it. So I think it turned out actually really, really well. And I am very happy that I made the switch and I sewed it up. So now I actually get to see it every day and that makes me very happy. So I personally like waiting to the very end of my vlogs to do my thrift haul because I never know when the vlog is gonna stop and if I'm gonna go thrifting in between that. So I would have done this yesterday, but I wasn't too sure if today I was gonna go out and do anything and find anything. We'll do the thrift haul, but I also wanna show you two really fun things that I did find at Michael's yesterday when we went. I found this. This is a, I can't pronounce it right. I think it's called Tunisian and it is a certain type of crochet. Fun fact, it was the original way that I learned how to crochet way back in like 2008, 2009. This is the method that I learned to crochet. Unfortunately, 
unfortunately learned how to crochet it with a regular crochet hook which you can do but you can only go like make it so long without it falling off the hook whereas this is kind of like designed like a knitting needle but it does have the hook and what I found really strange about this particular hook is one it's a Susan Bates and if you've been following me you know how much I hate Susan Bates hooks it's just a personal preference of mine to not like that hook because it has this very like cut hook on it and it's not rounded but this Susan Bates has a rounded hook on it so like that kind of threw me through a loop because I like the boy boil boy I can never pronounce it right where here this is the boy it's b-o-y-e anyways this is for that style of crocheting which I would love to get into I know what else I I don't want to get into knitting. I am a diehard crocheter and I don't really care for knitting. The thing with knitting that draws me to it, the fact that when you knit, the material it makes is a lot thinner and less bulky than crocheting. Crocheting is a very bulky, heavy fabric, like once once you make like the pieces, right? Whereas knitting is very lightweight and it's like the same yarn. Like you can use the same yarn and knitting will be a lot thinner and a lot lighter. I don't know why, probably a good reason, I can't think of it, than a crochet item. So that's why I kind of want to get into knitting now. Of course, I am not going to abandon crocheting. Crocheting is my ride or die and I will never abandon it. I probably will. I will be doing a video of learning how to knit. So that's going to be in the future. But I just wanted to show you these really cool things that I did pick up at Michael's. And now on to what I thrifted. The first thrift store I went to, I did find these really cute buttons. They are slightly different. These ones are just a little bit bigger than these ones. They're the vintagey buttons that I want because sometimes when you buy newer buttons, they look new. They don't look antique. So that's why I picked up these and then I bought a pattern to make gloves out of. It's Vogue and Vogue is personally one of the more trickier ones. I like Simplicity and Bacalls are the easier patterns whereas Vogue is a little complicated and I got this pattern for 50 cents and the original price Canadian was $22. 2004 it says 2004. Who the heck is buying a $22 pattern in 2004? Hey, those are modern day prices for patterns. Even patterns nowadays are not that expensive. Eventually maybe I'll be doing a video about how to make some fancy gloves. I've never made them but I am really curious on how to make them. And then on to what I thrifted at the Value Village. Like I mentioned the whole reason that I went to that Value Village was I was returning a black skirt that I bought that didn't fit me. What I love is that this whole thing worked out perfectly. Sometimes you have to buy the wrong thing in order to find the right thing and that is exactly what happened to me. That skirt didn't fit and I showed that in my last thrift haul so while I was there I found the most beautiful skirt that I was looking for that, that's perfect. Sorry about the cat here. I have a cat that has white hair and it's literally all over the place. I bought this beautiful long A-line skirt. It has the swoosh. It has these pleats. I love anything with belt loops because then I can add a belt. So if it is a little too big, belt it. I normally don't try things on when I go thrifting because there's no change rooms. I mean, some Goodwills have them and some like smaller stores have them. Value Village is just taking them away and I don't think they're ever going to bring them back. I don't want to buy another skirt and have to return it. So I just tried them over the pants I was wearing and it fit perfectly. It was $12.49, which was almost double the price that I paid for that last skirt that I returned, but this skirt, 100% worth it. Okay, so this is the skirt. I can't really do a full length because I don't have uh, enough room in my room to put the camera all the way back there. I just wanted to show you how it fits my waist. It fits super nice. It is super flowy. Unfortunately, you can't see the bottom of it, but it's fine. There's pockets. That was a very pleasant surprise. But yeah, I just, I really do like the skirt. It's so cute. Yeah, I really do like the swooshiness of the skirt. I just, I think it's just so gosh darn cute. Like this is like the black skirt that I've been looking for. I did find something that I think is amazing. I found this sweater. Okay, I think this has an Australian vibe. Like I'm pretty sure those are koala bears or dogs. The brand is Lady Foot Locker. It is in a size large. It actually does does say Lady Foot Locker right here and then it also says lifestyle and it's on the sleeves and it's on the back. There are shoulder pads in this and they will be coming out because I do not like shoulder pads. I will be cutting those bad boys out because I don't like them. It was seven dollars. I could not walk away from this. I had a huge, how do I put this, fascination with the 80s back in the early 2010s, like I think 2013-2015. The 80s controlled my life. I watched all the teen movies, all the movies made in the 80s. I had the acid wash jeans, a ton of 80s sweaters. Not so much the hair or the makeup, more the fashion. If you guys are interested in me finding all of my 80s sweaters 
and doing a video and showing you them, let me know in the comments because if you guys want that, I will go through my storage unit, I will go through all the other places that I have my sweaters and find all my 80s ones to show y'all. This is giving like late 80s, early 90s. I think it's definitely reminiscent of the 90s, I believe. Here is how the sweater looks on. The shoulder pads are still inside of it because they're really sewn in there and I'm gonna need my stitch ripper, which is in this, this contraption. To take it off, usually I can just take scissors and snip the two little threads that are connecting the shoulder pads to the sweater. Not in this case. It fits super comfortable. I feel like a mom in the 90s. Like, it's the, the vibes that I'm getting. I'm gonna say they're koala bears. It's just so cute and I love how it's everywhere. Like, it's on the front, it's on the back, it's on the sleeves. And I will be cutting out the shoulder pads because I, I don't want to look like a football player. Also, I don't like how they feel like I don't like something sitting on my shoulder if I'm gonna have something sitting on my shoulder it's gonna be a bird I don't want any birds so I don't need anything on my shoulder do you ever just go thrifting and you find the one item that you will instantly regret if you do not buy like you see it and you're like I don't know who owned this before me but it was always meant to be mine that is what this next item is and it is not a clothing item it is not something that is like entirely useful per se when I saw that this. I kind of looked at it. I kind of like took a few steps away and then I looked back at it. It stared at me. I need to own you so badly. You probably already saw it in the clip, but uh, here it is. <sighs> this cat figurine. It's the tongue sticking out of it that drew me to how cute he is. I can't describe it. It's just so adorable. It was $7. Like, I think that was the one thing that made me kind of step away from it was like, I don't want to spend $7 on a figurine. But this guy is worth it. I think I probably would have paid $10 for him. That would have been like the highest price that I would go. Like, look at him. His head's tilted. His tongue is sticking out. But I love him so much. And that is why I bought him because I, I don't think I could have lived without having him in my life. There's no name on it. Maybe there's some underneath this felt, but I don't know. There's a lot of little cracks in him, a little chip here and there. So this is old. This has to be at least from the 80s, I think. I don't know. I'm just, I'm giving a general thing. I don't think this was 90s. Definitely not 2000s. I feel like this has to be at least 30 or 40 years old. And the fact that somebody that long ago, how do I put this? I feel like a millennial or a Gen Z would probably make something like this. And I'm going to put him right here. So now you can see him in every video because I love him and he deserves the attention. All right, so I think that sums up this video. Uh, that was everything that I thrifted. I don't know, I was having such a good thrifting day that I feel like I probably could have spent more time in that value village. Next week's my birthday and me and my sister are gonna do like a huge thrifting day on that day. So I didn't wanna spend a bunch of money yesterday when I know I'm gonna be spending, watch me find nothing on Wednesday, but spending more money then. That will do it for this video. If you're new to my channel, like sewing, crafting, sewing, crafting, thrifting, and crocheting, why not hit that subscribe button? You can also follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok, which is both Fancy Designers for Tea Party. So I think that is it. So y'all have a good day now.